and that's what you want. Like, you don't want to fall out with everybody and have a track record of just, you know, can't get along, and you can't just see past differences. And I ain't talking about sin, but I'm talking about just doctrinal stuff and all of that. You got to mature past that. Be able to have a conversation with somebody that just don't see it the way you see it. Amen. Almost nobody sees it the way I see it. <laughs> and I got a bunch of friends. We can talk all day long and never even talk about the truth behind hip hop. Because there is more to me than that message. Amen. And there's more to relationships than trying to be the holiest one. Let me teach you something. Because all you're going to do is fall out with everybody and then when something happens, tragedy or anything happened in your life, you don't have nobody to call. Amen. So I don't have a problem, man. I'm so secure in what God has shown me. I don't have a problem with what other folks believe and do. That don't take away from me and make me nervous. Amen. That don't, I've been under the microscope since I started. I'm the one they go through everything I say and do and try to find something wrong with it. And that's okay. They can do that all day long because I know who I work for. And I know who has called me. Amen. So I ain't worried about no old Opinions. Amen. <laughs> Y'all know Biden haven't won yet. Okay, I just I thought I'd put that out there. Amen. Don't believe everything you see on TV. Amen. Because the media is setting this up, and if by some strange reason they flip this switch, there's going to be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth in the street. They're going to tear everything up. Just so it's just it, they just it's just it, that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna it's gonna man. So y'all better be praying. And I ain't praying for who to, who win. I'm not praying for any of that. I'm praying that that we can survive this. They don't come tying up. Amen. A B C. You know Wednesday we practiced with the men and we practiced our formation and man it looked like the nation of Islam out there. But we have. 125 men, boy, folks was almost wrecking on the freeway. What are they getting ready for? And we were able to literally cover the whole front of the building all the way to each edge with the men. And man, it looked so, it looked so cold. And I wanted to show y'all the video, but then Elder had the bright idea of putting willing to die the music with the video. And it just sent the wrong message. I said, brother, I said, Elder, I love you, but we can't, we can't, we can't do that. Amen. That, 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 that was a little too militant. <laughs> Amen. We ain't looking for the fight. We're not looking for the fight. Amen. But I thank God that we're ready. We ready. We are ready. Because folks lose their mind behind stuff that don't have... <sighs> like, if you could transfer the essence of that furiousness within you and transfer that to taking care of your family and loving your wife. I mean, that veracity, that intense anger about TV and social media, if you could take that and transfer that, you wouldn't have lost your family. You wouldn't even be that angry. You wouldn't have grown that beard. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with a beard, but you got to pop a Smurf beard. That means you finna tear something up. But all of this, all of this hatred and anger and all of this is such a distraction because there are so many other things wrong with your personal life that you should be upset about. But you don't want to be upset about those because you're the one to blame. This is a deflection. Dude's emailing me, but what are we supposed to do about this and this and this? Where's your wife? Where's your family? When was the last time you paid a bill? Why is everything in your mama's name? Get mad about that. They are 
got to check that. You can't protest if everything is in somebody else's name. You're not allowed out here. Bro, go work. Go somewhere and work on your credit. I mean, mad at the TV. Ooh, Biden and Trump. I hate Trump. He just had to. Dude, Trump's bills are paid. And here's the thing. Biden's bills are paid, too. They don't have nothing in common with either one of them. And they both owe white men. So how can two white men start a race war? I'm confused. That... At the end of the day, what are you mad about? Man, if you don't go call your father and apologize, call them people you cussed out. See, because here's the thing. Your life has no value because when God tried to put value in your life, you pushed it away. What do you mean, God? I mean, you talking about money? No, 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 no. See, there's only one thing valuable to God, and that's people. <laughs> when, when Jesus comes back, he's not coming back for anything but people. The only thing of value to the Trinity is people. And when God put valuable people in your life that could have helped you, you pushed them away. And now you mad at a phantom ghost that don't exist because you pushed away what God sent to you. You prayed for it. He sent it and you shunned it. God don't let me respond to folks, but some of them when they email me and text me, you old false prophet, you bald headed devil, you just ordered a, I be wanting to text them back and just say, you tired of being broke? Because God sent help and you ignored it. You tired of being lonely? You, you're real lonely, huh? Because at the end of the day, I read what you wrote, laugh at it, and then just scooch up close to <laughs> some warm love. That, that's what I do. That encourages me, Elder. That encourages my soul. And, and what, 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 what you curling up to? Wires and mouse and a key, keyboard? That's your woman? You with her all night? And mad and ready to kill somebody over something that don't have nothing to do with you. They picked who's going to win the president. And see, some people tell me when I say that, oh, how can you say that? You just devaluing the process or whatever. My value is somewhere else. That's the thing. If I vote, if you vote, I don't care. My value is somewhere else. Because it, don't, it doesn't matter who I voted for or who's in office, God is still in control. And the government is still on his shoulders. Folks scared to say it. Oh, man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta push the political system. You gotta put that. I don't have to push nothing but the word of God, man. That's the only thing that has worked for me. I don't know nothing about any president that's ever been the president. All I know is since 1852, there's only been two parties in the in the White House. That right there is enough for me to say it's rigged. There's never been anybody outside of those two parties. That tells me that they've chosen those people already. Oh, I got some more facts. <laughs> because before 1940, the, the black folks was Republican. It was the Republicans that set the Negroes free.
Good old Abe. Good old Abe. Abe was a Republican. Now all of a sudden, Democrats, that's for the Negroes only. When did that change? When was that meeting? Was you invited? When they said, watch this. We're just going to flip the whole thing to show you the control we got. That's the only reason they even want a long election process. That's so they can weed out stuff. They know what you're thinking, what you're going to do, and how strong your salvation is. They know how strong your commitment to God is by you talking all on the internet. Oh, blah, blah, blah. You talking foolishness that's not word based. You done bought into society. And you call yourself a believer in Jesus? It's folk looking at you like you crazy. That's all they got to talk about? Got you scared to come to church? Oh, the COVID. What happened to the Holy Ghost power? What happened to the healing power of God? What you going to preach when you go back in there? What you going to tell people when you go back in there? Are you walking by faith? This is foolishness. Why are you believing what you're reading? These folks done picked the, the, the media picked the president last night. You thought he won, but because you can't read. If you read what it says, it says the projected candidate, the projected winner. They out there arm and arm. <laughs> Arm and arm. The Christians and the LGBT. Arm and arm. We got it. We got it. Yeah, yeah. You dancing with the LGBT? The BLM and the Christians. We got them. We got them. The witches? You with the witches now? The abortionists, baby killers. Y'all, we got them. The church. Arm and arm. We got them. We got them. No, 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 no. Let me tell you. Let me tell you who got got. The carnal believers got got. You got drawn out. And show what your power is all about, what your talk is all about, what that anointing is all about. You got exposed and you didn't even know it. <laughs> I'm going to keep it too. Y'all sit there. I ain't pulled up a slide yet. <laughs> it's foolishness. It's foolishness. It's foolishness. We've been in here four months. No social distances. Now, if it's airborne and as dangerous as they say, that should be a whole lot of dead folks in here right now. But everybody in here is alive. Yeah, that's why they want to shut it down because we just proved them wrong. Statistically, four months. Four months. I mean, a fellowship or two every week. And we all up on each other during the ABC song. High five and hugging. I know I done spit on everybody. It's droplets everywhere.
Okay, y'all can sit there. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it because I believe it's God that brought us this far. I believe we all have a testimony. God set us up for the end times to speak to this nation with our actions, with our health, with our sound mind. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and what? We ain't out here going crazy, ready to tab something. I didn't even watch it. We went to get something to eat Friday, and the TV came on, and they showed the map of the United States. That was my first time seeing it. And I saw that red, and I was like, how's he lose it? <laughs> but that was my first time seeing it. I didn't watch any of it. You know why? It doesn't matter. Amen. When Obama was in office, God did what he had to do. And if Biden or whoever's in office, God's going to do what he has to do. That's what being in control is all about. Just in case you, you, you've been saying it, but you didn't really believe it. I don't just say it. I really believe he's the one that holds my future. And my security is in him. It's not a cliche. It's real. Amen. And folks get upset, you know, because they want you to push the people to vote a certain way. And y'all know I've never done that in here. Matter of fact, I've done the opposite. But they want to push, they want to, you know, push it out of it because they want everything rigged. They want everything to reek of the New World Order and the New Age Movement. Well, we're not doing that in here. We're going to believe that Jesus is still on the throne. Amen. And you know, I know he's on the throne because he's on the throne of my life. That's who's controlling me. Amen. So I'm not getting caught up in that stuff, and you don't either. Amen. Amen. When you call your folks and can, whatever, whatever, and they start talking that, you know what to do. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Because, you know, when you stop commenting, they, they, they run out of steam. And, girl, what? Your, your pastor, you still in that coat? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> he brainwashing y'all. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I mean, you're not worried about that? No, ma'am. But they said on TV, yes, ma'am. And then CNN said, yes, ma'am. And then the president said, yes, ma'am. Who's brainwashed? Who's in the cult? Amen. Hey, call it what you want to, but yes, ma'am. Well, we, this is where we have our family right now. So we just, I, I just need you to pray for me. Because if we out here and we wrong, we need God to show us. So that God that you know, mama, let him show us. Let him show us. I need God to show me. I'd love to believe everything you said, but as humans, we're all wrong sometimes. So on this one, I need you to pray that God show me so I don't be down there lost with that, 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 that demonic pastor that be preaching. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is real, y'all. It's real. I told somebody the other day, I said, do you actually believe it's a coincidence? Listen, now this is right here. You believe it's a coincidence that we got in here and I got in here and told y'all about the African and the Caribbean demons, didn't I? What I tell you was coming through the water. The African and Caribbean demons. Right? Yoruba and Santeria. Didn't I tell you? And then Paula White gets up praying for the president and call forth African and Caribbean spirits. Right now, for angels have even been dispatched from Africa right now. Africa right now. Africa right now. From Africa right now. They're coming here. They're coming here. In the name of Jesus from South America. They're coming here. They're coming here. They're coming here. They're coming here. From Africa. From South America. And Yoruba, Santeria. She did it, it, I mean, and was serious. And called their names. Start speaking 
them demonic spirits names calling forth the spirits of Africa and the Caribbean to save the election. Why you not calling angels from glory? Why you not calling angels from on high? Why did you just sing angels we have heard of high? No, Africa. I don't want nothing to come from Africa. Excuse me, Africans. I love y'all. But I ain't trying to call nothing from Africa. Every time it comes from Africa, the world ends. That's Bible. Yeah, see, folk, you know, I, I guess, yes, the original man had to be black. Scientifically, he had to be. Yes, all them folks in the Bible, most of them were at black. Yes, they had to be because that's where you get all the other colors. I get all of that, okay? But you got to take responsibility, too. You got to take some responsibility. Them Egyptians was the darkest folks that ever lived. And they kidnapped God's people. You got to take responsibility. They're the ones built the Tower of Babel. Nimrod was dark skinned. You got to take responsibility. That means that if the world going to end, it's going to come through the Negroes. Because we the original folks. If you're going to get the people, you got to go to the original. That's logical, ain't it? So don't be, oh, we the first man. We the first. Yep, and you got a greater responsibility, first man. Won't you be the first man to pay your bills in your family? Be the first man to marry the girl before you get her pregnant. Won't you be the first man to work a job past a year? You be the first man trying to be the first of something. Well, because I don't feel like preaching this now. You know, I'm like the old folk God that took me another way. God, God that took me another way. Amen. God just, he took me another way. Let me do this. Everyone stand to your feet. Let's turn the lights on. Yeah, I need PJ. People in the overflow. Can they come in? But I want to do something, really. I want to do something because we, you know, up until now, we have been a very responsible church. And when I say responsible, we've been responsible for fasting and praying and doing the things that are pleasing unto the Lord so that we can hear from him. Amen? Y'all believe that? Yes. Before COVID started, they can just fill out everywhere. That's, that's fine. Just, just, yeah, down this middle aisle would be good. But before COVID even started, God had us on our knees praying. He had us fasting three times a week for a whole month. Y'all, I know you remember that. Hey, man, everybody in here was so skinny and fine, and I mean, boy, our bodies was new. We were new creations. Hey. But God, we were responsible during that period. Yeah, the devil got mad, but the devil can't, you, you got to understand, in order for God to do, and this is no slight on anyone, y'all, people, pe people have been leaving churches since churches started. People leave. It's not for them. It's not what they need. They just leave. And that's fine. That's fine. But when a certain spiritual work is about to happen or when God is getting ready to do something, a lot of times he has to remove naysayers. Y'all yeah, remember when Jesus went in to heal the young girl? He threw everyone out the room because your opinion hurts the faith that is needed for that task. So your negativity, and we don't even want to talk about the negative energy that is transmitted, those negative frequencies from your language, all of that stuff affects it. Because when healing is, is coming up on anyone, it's, it's frequency-based. God is using frequencies. That's how he communes in our realm. So when you see his hand move, you don't have to see the physical hand. It's the frequencies that represent the hand that moves. 
that's how our whole world is, 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 you know, we'll talk about that. I took all of that out of the last message because it was too long, so we're going to stick that somewhere one day. But anyway, so he's working through frequencies and different things. Well, negative frequencies sound different. They affect things differently. I showed y'all that in Truth Behind Hip Hop Part 8 when the dude was talking to the rice. I told y'all that. Remember that? So sometimes when God is taking a ministry, especially one like this, somewhere else, during this COVID and during all of this, we had to have the faith to be able to still assemble. So if we needed the faith to assemble, you can't have a bunch of folks with an issue with the pastor in here talking a bunch of junk, trying to, you know, putting, amen, planting seeds of doubt in your mind. And you are trying to believe God that you're going to be safe and secure in here. Enduring a pandemic, believe in God that we're going to all be good. Look at somebody say, I'm good. Our family's going to be good. We, man, please. We're going to be good. Earlier this week, I got the sniffles and my throat started feeling scratchy or whatever. And I said, nah, devil, nah, you ain't finna, nope, we're not going to do this. And the Lord was like, you ain't got to talk to the devil. Go take some, that whole vitamin C you got. Take some of that uh, vitamin D and then take a little of that vitamin A. I took it the next day. I was fine. You see what I'm saying? Because, hey, man. Every, look at somebody say, everything ain't COVID. And say, ain't too. Everything ain't COVID. Most of this stuff, folks, was already sick. But anyway, we've been a responsible ministry. When God tells us to do something, we've done it. Right? And so because of that, the enemy's upset. But that's who I want to be. But I do want to stay responsible for this information and I want to pray for those that we're going to come in contact with when we leave here. Y'all don't understand the power of God that comes on you when you gather. So when you take it away from here, folks are going to feel a little funny when you're talking to them. They're going to feel a little funny because you're so secure right now. And you don't care. You don't care. Man, this is the most pivotal election of all elections. There's never been an election that's more pivotal. How can you not care? You slept last night? But don't they say that about all elections? This is the one? And what happened to all that doomsday stuff? Ain't the store supposed to be empty right now? Some of y'all got cans of tuna. You got enough tuna to last you th through the thousand year reign. Because you done watched a doomsday prophecy and somebody told you all the money is going to be gone. You should have the mark of the beast by now. According to YouTube. Uh-uh, y'all, listen. We're going to pray right now for clarity in this hour. And we want to know. I want to know what I'm supposed to be doing. I want to know what's going to... I, I just... And I don't have to know what's going to happen. I just need it to happen through God. Amen. Amen. So everyone, just bow your heads and lift your hands up. I believe God didn't want me to preach this message. He just wanted me to say what I said. So lift your hands up right now. Father God, we just thank you, Lord, because... One thing we've learned in these last nine years of ministry for us and four or five for some, six, seven for some, one year for some, whatever it is that how long you've been here. One thing we've learned is that your hand is on this ministry. We have evidence. We have fruit to prove it. We have fruit in our lives. We have fruit in our homes. Father God, we see your hand, how you just carved out an, a, a, a life for us that we couldn't project without you. God, you've done miraculous things for us. You've taken care of us every step of the way. When we gave up on ourselves, you did not give up on us. Father God, you called our name in the middle of the night and encouraged us when no one else was around. God, you sent a word through someone whether it was a text message or an email, when we were at the point of taking our own life, God, you spoke life into us and told us that it's going to be okay. Just trust me. 
So, Father, we believe your hand has been on this ministry. Father God, we believe your hand has been on EX Ministries. God, even just being in the building yesterday and seeing the thousands of people who were fruit of the truth behind hip-hop, God, that is you. And today, just seeing a church full, 500-plus people in here, and you're still with us. Father God, during a pandemic, you are with us. You are prospering us. God, many of us are doing better than we've ever done in our life with businesses closed and while we're wearing masks and while we can't go here and only this many people can be here. Father God, you have prospered us. You've done great things for us. God, we can't thank you enough. So we thank you for your word. We thank you for your truth in this hour. And right now we stand proxy for someone else. And you know who that person is. Get them in your mind right now. Whether it's your mother, your father, relatives, whoever it is that are under the strong delusion of the media, under the strong delusion of social media, under the strong delusion of CNN, NBC, ABC, Fox News, under the strong delusion of the Trump administration, the Biden administration, under the strong delusion of witchcraft, the LGBT, the, the, the homosexual movement, under the delusion of carnal Christians, the Catholic Church, church everyone that is against what God is for and yet they're still calling themselves with God in God God we stand against it and father we stand proxy for them that you would give us what to say you would put ministry on us in our mouth and in our hearts so that at the appointed time we can say the right thing we can turn our heart God nothing can change the heart of man except for your word only your word can change the heart of men so, Father, no matter what they've seen, no matter what they heard, no matter what they believe in, no matter what they've settled for, let your word speak through us, God, to them. God, give us your word. And we'll be diligent, God, to continue to pray, to fast, to seek your face in this hour, to continue to hear your voice, to continue to do things your way, to continue to walk in confidence and peace in this hour that we won't be shaken but we'll be like that tree planted by the rivers of living water we won't be moved in this hour I pray Lord for that God and help us Father God even when we leave this place Lord that the atmosphere of the places we enter will change and doubt will leave and fear will leave Father God discontentment will leave Father God ungodly spirits will leave as we be beacons of light for you in this last hour. And Father God, and everyone, just come on, lift your hands higher. We thank you. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for being with us at the end of this age. When everything is crumbling before us, we thank you for being a solid foundation under us. Uphold us with your spirit. Father God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's defy the social distance and hug somebody and tell them, we're going to make it. Come on, hug them and tell them, we're going to make it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you really believe that? Do you really believe that? My confidence is not in the government. My confidence is not in the administrations. But my confidence is in Jesus. Come on, say it. My confidence is in Jesus. Come on now, give him a praise right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Come on, give him a praise. You can do better than that. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Look where he's brought you 
you from? Remember what they said about you. Remember what they said. They said because of what you went through, you wouldn't be anything. But look at you now. Touch your neighbor and say, look at me now. God has saved me. All right, PJ. Put that up. Amen. Put it up. Yes. Hallelujah. All right, all right. Amen. Come on, Elder. Well, I don't know if you need the call. Let me get some. Come on, one more. Hallelujah. All right, you may be seated. I done brought y'all out here. Uh, overflow. <laughs> so you just gonna have to. You can go sit back in there or stand around. We're gonna take the offering. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, Elder. Hallelujah. But he's worthy. He's worthy. Come on and give him praise. He's worthy of all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. He's worthy. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Hallelujah. 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 
hear somebody say, he's been so good. He's been so good. I got to give him glory. I got to praise him. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.